What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a sticky header effect for your Elementor website or any other WordPress website. Now this is a sticky header effect that we're going to be creating here and this works on um, tablet and mobile. So this is on tablet and um, this is on mobile here. So as you can tell it works perfectly there. Now I'm only going to be showing you how to create the sticky header effect, not the header itself. I do have plenty of videos on that on my channel. I'll try to link that above here. Now, if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps us out a lot. And this is honestly the simplest way to create a sticky header. So I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this. So go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard, go into plugins, and then go ahead and click on add new. And then just go ahead and type in site origin. And we're going to go ahead and install this one here. Now, don't worry, we're not going to be using any CSS. This is the simplest way to add a sticky header to any website. So go ahead and click activate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to appearance. And we're going to go ahead and click on custom CSS. Now, like I said, we're not using we're not going to be writing any CSS. The system's going to do it for us. It's super easy. It's going to take us like two minutes. So Right here, let me go ahead and open up my my uh, other web, my website here. And as you can tell right now, I don't have a sticky header here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this eye icon. So go ahead and click on this little eye icon here. Make sure you click on that. And then you're going to open up their little editor. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and select your header here. Now, make sure that you have the entire thing selected. As you can tell, it highlights blue, so I know that the entire thing is selected. And I don't want to click on this little box or this here. I want to make sure that my entire header is selected. Now that's very important. And then from here, go into layout. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and click on position. Go ahead and make that fixed. And then now obviously your header isn't looking too good. Now we can fix that. Go into width and click on this little drop down arrow here and make sure you set that to percentage and then go ahead and, and type in 100. And then go ahead and click on this checkbox at the top left here. Now we want to make sure very important now we save our CSS. So go ahead and click on save CSS. And then I'm going to go ahead and refresh my page here. Now as you can tell, now we have our sticky um, header. Now that was very simple, only took us like two minutes. Now I'm currently using Elementor for my header, so this will work with Elementor. Now, and this will also work with any other theme. Maybe you're using Astra or the Caden theme. And let me go ahead and show you guys how that would work. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard here. I'm gonna go into appearance and go to custom CSS. And I'm gonna remove the CSS because I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use it on a different theme. So then I'm going to go to my themes here and we're going to go ahead and install the Astra theme because I know that a lot of you guys use the Astra theme and a lot of you guys probably want to know how you make this um, header sticky. So as you can tell right now, currently this header is not sticky. Oh, let me go ahead and and um, go to plugins here and I'm going to go ahead and install. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, deactivate my header footer so then we can see our our Astra um, header. OK, now here we have our, our Astra header. As you can tell, currently it is not sticky. Now, don't worry about how the website looks. Um, it doesn't look the best. We can adjust that later on if we wanted to. So let's go into our custom CSS here. Let me refresh this here and uh, go ahead and click on the eye icon here. And then what we want to do is select our header. So we want to select all of it, not just this part right here. So make sure you hover over here on the left side and click on it. And that's basically just going to pull the header. And then we got to go to layouts and same process. We go into position, fixed, and then we're going to go into our width and we're going to set that to a percentage and we're going to put 100 again. And there we have it. Now we're going to click the checkbox and we're going to click save CSS. Very important that you click save. And go ahead and refresh. And then now you have a sticky header. There, you can just go ahead and adjust those however you would want. Um, I will make more videos on this on using uh, the site origin CSS editor. I think it's really cool. You could really adjust your um, your theme and you can start customizing things that you're not able to with Elementor. Um, for instance, like the shop 
or um, or your blogs in case you don't have uh, Elementor Pro. So um, it really it really does extend the functionality of WordPress when it comes to editing stuff on your website. So I think it's going to be very useful for you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like the video. It definitely helps out for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.